Ask most people about their dreams, and with a little coaxing, they'll probably share with you something relatively basic. We might even call them expectations or hopes. A happy and lasting marriage, a fulfilling career, a clean bill of health. Throw a couple of good, close friendships on top. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Yet life has a way of upending our most basic desires. The marriage fractures. The relationship falls out. The career never materializes. That test result changes everything. Even sometimes that dreaded feeling of just feeling stuck. Living in a broken world almost guarantees us that life will not go the way we had intended. Even strong faith or sincere devotion to God doesn't exempt us from the furnace that life can become. In the book of Daniel, three young men face a furnace of their own, literally. Their lives are completely overturned, their city conquered, they're trafficked to a foreign land, and then to top it off, they're threatened with execution unless they denounce their loyalty to the God who had seemingly deserted them in the first place. Their response? Our God can save us from the furnace, but even if he doesn't, we're not worshiping anyone else. Even if God doesn't do for us what we know he could, we're gonna to continue to worship him, even if. It's a simple declaration of a resolute faith that chooses to worship God no matter what the circumstances of life might bring, even in the furnace. My own even if declaration was forged in the furnace of my own life. Disappointments, that feeling that God had maybe forgotten me. I had prayed to God that he would change my circumstances, but instead, God met me in the furnace. In this book, I want to help you raise your own unique even if declaration. That resolute choice to worship God no matter what life might bring to you, even if.